had a moment where I was probably just crying for a straight 30 minutes <laughs> because I could not believe the email. 28-year-old Marissa Rosa Grant, a Toronto queer events producer, is being recognized by the U.S.-based Marsha P. Johnson Institute as part of their Black History Month Honors series, this year focusing on young changemakers. The commendation comes from Marissa's work in supporting queer, trans, black and BIPOC artists and sex workers among the most marginalized of communities. The government, especially here, like they've closed strip clubs, they've closed like they don't see it as a real job and that's the problem. They don't see sex work as work. Pre-pandemic, Marissa organized events under the banner Strapped, curating safe and welcoming spaces for queer and non-binary people of color. You can go to a lot of queer events, but a lot of them are very white. And I wanted to change that. I wanted to add something new to the mix. After COVID-19 shut down the live events industry, Marissa took to Zoom to keep them going with DJ sets, yoga classes, movie screenings and more. They soon tied up with Maggie's Toronto, one of Canada's oldest by and for sex worker support organizations, to create virtual strip clubs with strictly black and queer performers under the banner The Strap House. Not only are we being able to um, provide entertainment to people, you know, and also promoting them to stay inside. But we're also helping Black, queer, and trans folks who are most impacted, especially by the pandemic and just generally impacted by discrimination. All proceeds from ticket sales go directly back to the performers. An upcoming adult film festival will also benefit the Maggie's Toronto Black Sex Worker Fund. Anti-Black racism is really awful um, in terms of sex work. Like The pandemic has really hurt sex workers quite a bit. There are so many different kinds of sex work, right? And so sex workers who were working in the downtown east, like on the street, for example, are impacted very differently than, than strippers and massage parlor workers. In terms of what it means to be like a Black stripper in the city, you know, it's not uncommon to go to clubs here and be told, oh, we already have one of you. We already have a Black girl here. Put a wig on, change your name, look less Black. Ellie says the Strap House is providing an alternative space free of discrimination and stigma, one that celebrates queer black providers. And when it comes to being recognized for their work, Marissa says the honor is particularly meaningful because of where it comes from, a group they have admired, named after a trailblazing trans pioneer. I went to a Catholic school, so queerness wasn't even a topic that we could even devil into. So to now receive this honor from someone that I had to dig deep to look and learn about, a group that I looked up to so much for the work that they're doing. It's just such a great big honor and <laughs> trying to explain it to my parents who are very straight was very fun. Now Marissa says the honor has been extremely validating for themselves and their own identity as well. For a more detailed look at their work, you can go to our website citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.